Hi, my name is Molly Gold and I'm the president and founder of Go Mom Inc. Thanks so much for stopping by this week. It's Thanksgiving week and I cannot wait to celebrate with my family and friends. I hope you feel the same way, but you might not because family always brings out the best and the worst of us. The worst for me is when I'm really disorganized. If I find that I'm coming up to a special event and feeling stressed and cranky, then obviously I haven't done my best to make sure that I've thought ahead and taken the stress out of the event so I can enjoy it. So even though we just have a few days to go, the holiday season lasts six weeks at least, and I'm hoping that some of the tips that I offer you today will get you through those six weeks more seamlessly and feeling good about who you are and what you're doing. First, I wanna talk about donating food. With Thanksgiving, there's always so many food drives Look in your local paper, the Sunday paper. If you don't already get it for all the coupons that are there, please go out and grab one or stop by your local grocery store that's supporting the food bank drives. This bag that we got in the paper tells me everything that this organization is looking for. I offer this bag to my children. I point them in the direction of our pantry. They fill it to the gills with everything that we've been buying with BOGOs, pennies on the dollar or nothing. And then we can go ahead and bless another family or two with everything that's inside this bag. Food banks are at a critical need for donation. One of the reasons why we stock up on extra things is so that we can be charitable in that simple way. It's hard for our children to imagine what it would be like to be hungry. It makes a big impression on them for them to see the difference that single bag of food can make. So I encourage you to make sure to donate to your local food bank and use the tools that have been provided to you by these organizations to make it so simple. It's unreal how easy that is. All you've got to do is fill it and take it back to the store. My next tip involves couponing and holiday coupon management. I want you to make a list like this of all of the people that you might be buying gifts for. This is separate from having your children's Christmas list, although that's fun. Um, you can have your children's Christmas list on hand, but this list incorporates everybody else that you might be buying for. And then I want you to take a little time researching before you go out and purchase anything for any of those people. One of my favorite coupon sites is mommysnacks.net. And the reason why is this site offers not just the listings from one store, but a lot of different stores. And it doesn't just offer you coupons for groceries. It offers you all sorts of retail and entertainment coupons. Why is that important? This is the season for added retail and entertainment. I'm not a big shopper. I only go out and get exactly what I need. I use a grocery list that's in order of the store, and I have already clicked off all of the things that are on sale in that store, and that's pretty much all I'm gonna buy. So you can see, I tend to go with blinders on, if you make a list like this of who you need to buy for, and if you go ahead and go online and look for coupons at the retailers where you're going to be buying those items, you'll too be able to better have blinders on and save yourself money as you go. So I wanna encourage you to think coupons for the holidays, not just food, and make sure that as you're going through your list for everyone, including your kids, you've made sure to check for retailer coupons before you step inside those store doors. It's an easy way to save money. That's free money. Why wouldn't you take it? My third tip for you this month involves cleaning. And I'm so sorry to bring it up again, but I think it's really important because one of the things that we're talking about delegating is all of the household management tasks. When you're having company and you need to quick clean everything up, you wanna be able to spread your people out and get as much done in the least amount of time possible. That also helps you. There's no reason why you should take on more than you need to. The holidays bring an added set of activities that you have to execute. You're already managing your household. Bring your people into the process in an age appropriate manner. Quickly, I wanna encourage you to do a step-by-step -step list for each task that you delegate. I delegate a bathroom to each of my older children. They're able to handle it. It's okay for them to use the cleaners, their teens. I give them a list, step by step by step. I tell them which product to use on which surface. Why am I doing this? To make sure that I don't have to double check it. I know that when my children do something, it's not gonna be the same as I do it, but I can teach them, grow them in the right way so that eventually it is the same as I do it. And that's good for them. These are life skills. It might not be glamorous, but they're life skills. So what do I do with this list? I write it out, it took me no more than five minutes, and then it goes inside this little plastic bag so it can't get damaged, and that plastic bag has a rubber band on it that you can tie to the handle. Cleaning caddy in every bathroom. I hope that these three tips better help you this week. I want you to focus on being charitable through your decorations, going ahead and moving on what you don't need. 
if you don't put it up, you're not going to use it. They say if you haven't used it in a year, even if it's only a once a year kind of thing, you're probably not going to use it. Step two, making sure under charity to use these bags. How much easier does it get? See, I'm all about the list and they give you one. You can follow that list. Step number three, make a holiday list of the kinds of purchases that you'll be making that aren't traditional grocery purchases and promise me that you'll visit sites like mommysnacks.net to see what kind of other retailer coupons are out there, special event coupons are out there that you can use to keep money at home where you need it most while still taking care of blessing the people that you want to with your well wishes, etc. And then the fourth action to take this week is to make quick cleaning lists like the one I showed you for the bathroom so that when you're delegating to your family, you have a list that they can follow of the steps so that they can execute that task. And when it comes to that list, if your children are young, it's age appropriate, use pictures. You can draw pictures of what the steps are just as easily as words. They'll love it. They'll think they're very special. I hope that these tips help you better organize this week. Can't wait for the holiday here in my home, and I hope that you find your holiday to be blessed and you start off a wonderful six weeks of celebration and fun. Remember, we're here to help you make room for the special events so that you live in the moment and enjoy them. Delegate, minimize, save time and money. I hope that we help you do that better every single day. Take some time on the website, read our blog, and please leave me comments to let me know what you think. I appreciate your support. I look forward to seeing you again next week where we'll be talking about Crow. Have a great holiday.